know it's all about competition. Essentially, what we've done is taken love and turned it into a game show. We're learning is to cheat on them before they can cheat on you. Treating our... <laughs> Guys, this one. I don't know if it's um, a Gen Z thing or the snowflakes generation thing. Because I've seen, I've come across so many videos online of young girls talking about how their boyfriends cheated on them and they did revenge cheating. I've even come across wives who are also talking about how their husband cheated on them and they had to cheat back. So love and relationship has now become some sort of a competition. We, they are competing of who is more attractive, who can have more partners, partners than the other, or who can do anything more than the other you know i've see, even come across videos of uh, people competing of who is more attractive on social media than the other who's got more followers than the other so the, the whole relationship dynamics and love has now become something of like a com become competitive you know sadia can hit the nail on the head on this one let's continue partners as opponents and who can win and the prize of this kind of competition is who can be the loneliest fastest you see the prize of the competition is to to see who can be the loneliest who can who can be uh the the, the who can be the one who catches the biggest fish you know i've seen couples online i mean younger couples i'm old school so this is really strange to me and I've seen other, other old school people being really surprised and confused about how things have turned out, you know? The younger couples, this is what they do. They're competing. If one person cheats on the other, they need to check out how the, part, the, the person with whom they cheated looks. And they compare that person to themselves. Physically, financially, almost everything. They compare themselves to this person. Mostly physically and financially. They don't really care about the other, the other things because the slogan for the Gen Z's is it's all about money and you know money will solve all the problems. I would rather cry in a Ferrari. My kids would rather cry in a Ferrari. If I'm on OnlyFans, I would rather cry but have so much money in my pockets. So money comes before peace of mind. Money comes before love. Money comes before everything. So it's a competition, a constant competition. And I must say, this generation is doomed. It's doomed. I don't know how they're going to figure out this, but hmm, it is, it is a call for concern. They're just competing. They're not so in love. They, they don't love each other. They're just, they're just competing. Who wears... Who's got the best friends? Who's got the most attractive friends? Who's got more following on social media? Who's got who earns more money on social media? Hmm. Who can create the loneliest, a lonely relationship faster? Who can get single faster? So if I cheat on you first, or if I don't text back first, or if I don't, I win. But what are you winning? What's the trophy of these games? The trophy. Depression is the prize of depriving yourself of love, unfortunately. And you see. They are always fighting to win. If I if I don't text back, I win. If if you cheat on me with an ugly girl and I cheat on you with a handsome guy, I win. Win 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 win. And you all know, with uh, uh, depression is the price of love because what are you winning? What's the award? You don't get any award from winning all these things. All you get is that you you keep doing the wrong things and you are deprived of the very very the very very basics and the bare minimum of a relationship love and the absence of love will bring depression 